Lurking beneath the surface, ancient beasts are hungry. The arrival of the Great Migration is a chance to deploy both their stealth and their astonishing speed. Within a few days, one and a half million wildebeest have arrived. Their instinct draws them across, but their fear holds them back. The herd builds up along the riverbank in a great mass. Now it's a numbers game. Jump in with a million of your closest friends and hope that you don't become a statistic. They're desperate to get through as fast as possible. But without solid ground under their feet, they've compromised their speedy getaway tactics. The massive Nile crocodiles have been waiting for this for months. Surprisingly, these massive reptiles are far-sighted underwater, unable to focus on objects close by. But that doesn't stop the massacre. Sensory pits in the scales along the side of the jaw can detect vibrations in the water. So they can still hunt in even the darkest, murkiest rivers. Ambush from the shallows is the croc's normal strategy. Massive muscles in the hind legs and the tail launch the croc out of the water at an incredible 70 kilometers per hour. But they need to be close to strike. Eyes, ears and nostrils on top of the head allow it to hide in centimeters of water. Without warning, it explodes in attack. But here in the Mara, the sneaky lion weight tactics of the crocodilians are abandoned. Dinner is served in the water, and the pickings are easy. Get wet, and you enter the danger zone. Wave after wave of wildebeest continue to crash down the banks. Mass panic drives them forward, as invisible predators launch attacks in deeper water. Some crossing points are traps. The bank's too steep for hoofs to climb. The only escape is to swim back again. The way 
lives of wildebeest seem endless. Days become weeks, and still the fat reptilian monsters hunt. Some kill without ever showing their faces. Finally, as the last stragglers of the huge herds take the plunge, the end is in sight. With one last bite, the slaughter ends. The sacrifice has been immense. Thousands are dead. Some drowned, some trampled, and others torn apart by crocodiles. But these large reptiles are not the only river hunters that use speed to kill.